just a little piece of a big soul. You're bound to get ideas when you start thinking about stuff. Ideas, ideas, ideas. ideas. I'm losing my home, not a building that I slept 
but a home. I grew up in this place. I lived in this place. Memories are buried so deep in these walls. If you tried picking them up, they'd probably weigh a thousand pounds apiece. I remember all the way to California, dreaming of what I thought it would be. I imagined beautiful green pastures and lots of water. When I get to California, I want lots of friends. I want to go swimming and play hopscotch with them. I want to go to school. I want to read lots of books and draw tons of pictures. I want a big house and smell the good food cooking and be in a big living room with my home family. I want money so I can buy candy or a soda. I want fresh fruit. I want to feel the cool, sweet juice drip down from my chin. I want grapes, oranges, tomatoes, everything. I want to be a housewife. I don't want to work in those fields. I just want my family to be happy. Either I'm nobody or I'm a nation. Like the stalactites that crawl into their crystal helix shapes I crawled, American baby, from the Strait of Magellan where the fish gargle their lugubrious songs to the dehydrated line from where the Texans, those American wannabes, <laughs> flung their broken Spanish at me. I crossed the frontier, and for a while I stayed with the fruit pickers, developing into a character that cannot be defined by American citizenship. My hair crawled away from its scalp. My feet, they forgot the Aztec dances. Memories became like packaged boxes of an attic, of a house too busy to care. The melanin in my skin, disgusted, faded me in mirrors. I wanted to dream, baby. <laughs> she only told me about visas. I listened. And soon enough, I began speaking from my nose, just like the gringos. I recited the stories of Bush and Cheney, so they gave me my green card, but, but I forgot about my mother, who scarred back at the spine of the Andes, who incubated me in the smoke of a patient volcano for two centuries. I didn't remember myself until the age of 17, when burned out from singing Yankee Doodle, I recalled the tunes of my own people. The heats and smells of Acapulco, the poverty and the richness of the tongue. And I had also forgotten the cacao that is in the eyes of sweet-faced strangers. It all came back to me. I am an American baby. But the U.S., my friend, is not America. Dear Tom Joel, wherever injustice anywhere is taken as a threat and then acted upon everywhere, I'll be there. Dear Tom, I'll be the mirror that everyone can look into and say, I am happy with my body, with my sexuality, with my strengths, with my flaws, with my scars. I am happy with who I am. Dear Tom, I'll be there in a world where Martin Luther King's dream is no longer a dream, where poverty is a word only to describe the past. Dear Tom, I'll be wherever there is no laughter. I'll help bring kindness and joy and a little forgiveness. Dear Tom Joan, I understand you've been wandering around this beautiful land of ours like a graveyard ghost. You're fighting for us in silence, but you're screaming too. Our world today needs some help. There's so much yelling, screaming, and cursing, and I don't understand why. Dear Tom Joan, I believe that people need to realize that 
We are not better than one another. Black, white, gay, straight, what does a title matter? We all need one another. Dear Tom, all that matters is that I know the truth and that you know the truth. Dear Tom Jones, I am no longer going to sit on the sidelines of my country and hope for a better tomorrow. When Hillary Clinton is elected president, I will be there. <laughs> I will be knocking on doors. I will be changing lives and putting the message out there. Dear Tom, I'm writing to inform you that I have decided to stand up for what I believe in. I want to be a part of the rebuilding of America. So if you come looking for me, text me when you're on your way. <laughs> yes, Tom, text. We need to enter the 21st century. Thank <laughs> you.